16 minutes and 25 seconds until landing. Less than 15 minutes before touchdown. Atlantis uh, moving just to the east of the Yucatan Peninsula, about a minute and a half away from acquiring uh, communications to the Merritt Island tracking station near the Kennedy Space Center. The International Space Station will be passing directly over the Cape just nine minutes before Atlantis' touchdown and should be visible in a clear sky this morning. Atlantis about to pass across the Gulf of Mexico, traveling 14 times the speed of sound. Now 700 miles from the Kennedy Space Center, 34 miles in altitude, descending at a rate of 126 feet per second. C-band radar tracking now acquired through the Merritt Island tracking station near the Kennedy Space Center. Atlanta's just 450 miles from its destination, 31 miles in altitude, traveling 10 times the speed of sound, nearing the southwest coast of Florida. Final approach to Florida.
The uh, flight dynamics officer here in Mission Control reports Atlantis is uh, perfectly targeted for the Kennedy Space Center. Time to touch down 11 minutes. Everything looking very good on board the orbiter. Come on, Lentis, you're almost home. The uh, TACANs are the tactical air navigation aids. Three redundant units aboard the orbiter receiving data of range, elevation, and bearing from radio beacons at the landing site. Atlantis about to cross uh, the coast near Naples, Florida. Ten minutes to touchdown. 260 miles from the landing site at the Kennedy Space Center. You view the Ekaten, I think, uh, going right under the, uh, under the wing right now. It's gorgeous. Breathe. Uh, Atlantis is approaching Kennedy Space Center. Kennedy Space Center is approaching You're looking good to us, Atlantis. You're just passing the west coast of Florida. Welcome to Florida, Atlantis. This track uh, will carry Atlantis just to the west of Lake Okeechobee, 24 miles in altitude, 200 miles to the Kennedy Space Center. Now traveling less than six times the speed of sound. Descending at a rate of 200 uh, feet per second. Time to touch down, 9 minutes, 14 seconds. There we go. The air data probes are, have been deployed. These are probes on either side of uh, Atlantis's nose uh, that uh, provide pressure, altitude, airspeed, Mach numbers, angle of attack, and rate of descent information for the general purpose computers. Time to touch down eight minutes. Atlantis traveling four times the speed of sound. Live view at the runway. Atlantis, take air data. It's got to be the sun on Atlantis. Six and a half minutes from touchdown, 
The International Space Station just passed directly over the Kennedy Space Center in advance of Atlantis's landing. Okay, so Atlantis uh, currently traveling two and a half times the speed of sound, range to touchdown just 69 miles. Approaching the hack, no changes to winds or weather, nominal shoot. Here, yep, there's the, oh, look at that beautiful view. Now looking over the shoulder of uh, pilot Doug Hurley on the flight deck of Atlantis, this pilot point of view camera, five minutes till touchdown, Atlantis soon will be going subsonic. Oh, there it is. First view through infrared cameras at the Kennedy Space Center. Come on, Atlantis, you're almost there. Go on, Atlantis. Commander Chris Ferguson now flying Atlantis. Three and a half. Ah! Piercing the pre dawn sky as the space shuttle announces its arrival at the launch site with its signature sound of twin sonic booms having gone subsonic for the last time. Lance, welcome to your final home in Florida. We missed you. taking a few seconds of stick time on Atlantis. With a fitting elegance for its final moments of flight, Atlantis takes one last lap around the Kennedy Space Center. Commander Chris Ferguson now back on the stick. Atlantis uh, descending at an angle seven times steeper than that of a commercial jetliner.
As it approaches the runway, Commander Chris Ferguson will flare up Atlantis' nose to burn off excess speed prior to the landing gear deployment by pilot Doug Hurley. Here it comes. Once again, the view from the pilot point of view camera, one minute till touchdown. The final landing of a space shuttle. The pre-flare maneuver executed. Welcome home, Atlantis. Landing gear down and locked. There it is, touchdown. Main gear touchdown. Hurley now deploying the drag chute. Ferguson rotating the nose gear down to the deck. Nose gear touchdown. Yes! Welcome! Having fired the imagination of a generation, a ship like no other, its place in history secured, the space shuttle pulls into port for the last time. Its voyage at an end. Some sort of ended wheel stop. There it comes. And it's on. That's it. to congratulate you, Atlantis, as well as the thousands of passionate individuals across this great space-faring nation who truly empower this incredible spacecraft, which for three decades has inspired millions around the globe. Job well done, America. is home. Its journey complete. A moment in history to be savored. Mm -hmm. 